Tomorrow morning, a Carver County judge will hold the first hearing on how to settle Prince's estate. Estimates of the value range from $100 million to $500 million. In Carver County alone, Prince owned not only Paisley Park, but more than a dozen other properties valued at more than $30 million. Because it appears the singer did not have a will, the settlement of his estate is expected to be a complicated matter that could take years and eventually cost millions of dollars in legal and management fees. Here's Esme Murphy in tonight's talking points. Because Prince had no children and wasn't married, his sister Tyka Nelson and his half-siblings are, under Minnesota law, his heirs. But legal analysts predict a lot of claims will be made for a share of this estate. A California man has already filed, saying he is the rightful owner of all Prince's music because he and the singer had a verbal agreement dating back to the 90s. A judge will have to sort out all the claims and determine which ones are legitimate and which ones are not. Complicating the matter, a vault at Paisley Park that by some accounts holds hundreds of unpublished Prince recordings and music videos. Attorney Joe Tamburino was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. It increases the value of the state immensely and it also increases the number of people who are going to be interested in that estate. Because think about it, you could have another purple rain in that vault that someone could produce later on. And that's going to be up to the estate to do. So obviously this estate's going to grow in time. But how much Prince ends up being worth after his death will depend on how efficiently and smoothly his estate is settled and if his siblings can avoid battling each other. One blueprint for success, Elvis Presley. At the time of his death in 1977, his net worth was estimated at between five and $10 million. Today, Elvis's estate is conservatively estimated to be worth over $400 million. Well, this afternoon, hundreds of people turned out in Northeast Minneapolis to celebrate Prince's life. There was a DJ spinning hits as people danced and paid tribute to the late artist. Investigators are now focusing on whether Prince died from a drug overdose. The Associated Press reports investigators are trying to determine whether a doctor was prescribing drugs to Prince in the weeks before his death. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage as we learn more about the death of Prince.